As global warming threatens the future of military and commercial aviation, a Chinese team of researchers with a vision to end fossil fuel dependence is making a big splash in the engineering industry. Led by a tenured expert researcher, the team intends to make modern airliners fly across the globe powered exclusively by air and electricity, all possible because of a secret ingredient, plasma. The scientists have thus far designed a prototype jet engine that uses plasma technology to create thrust. And while the group affirms that mankind is on the verge of moving one step closer to carbon emission-free air travel, several experts wonder if their secretive theories are just a load of hot air. No more fuel. Commercial jet flight is responsible for 12% of carbon dioxide emissions from all transport sources, a significant amount considering the ever-evolving climate. And while a drastic change in the aviation industry is needed to secure its future in the coming decades, research and development take time, effort, and a lot of money. Several years ago, Chinese professor Zhao Tang researched the use of microwaves in synthetic diamond production, and the polymath expert had a eureka moment. Wondering if similar technology could be applied to generate some thrust, he gathered a team of experts at the Institute of Technological Sciences at Wuhan University and began working to prove the theory. In the spring of 2020, the professor and his team published a paper on their creation, Jet Propulsion by Microwave Air Plasma. According to the paper, the device could produce propulsion by compressing air and ionizing it with microwaves using only air and electricity. With the prototype and only 400 watts of microwave power, the team managed to lift a 2.2 pound steel ball over a 24 millimeter diameter quartz tube. The scientists estimated that the jet pressure from their prototype reached 2400 newtons per square meter which were propulsive forces proportionately comparable to those of conventional jet engines. As such, Professor Tang hinted at the extraordinary possibility that if successful, the construction of a high-performance microwave air plasma jet thruster could eliminate the need for a conventional fossil fuel jet engine. Fundamental. Like solids, liquids, and gases, Plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter. According to astrophysicists, not only is it the most abundant form of matter in the entire universe, but it is also the first to be created after the Big Bang. Plasma naturally arises due to the ionization of molecules at high temperatures or in high electric fields, and it is present in the stars, the sun, and other celestial bodies. The state of matter can also be artificially generated by heating a neutral gas or subjecting it to a strong electromagnetic field using microwaves, lasers, and other mediums. Plasma has wide applications in many fields, including artificial crystal growth, medical treatment, television screens, and environmental studies. For years, plasma thrusters have been operational on modern spacecraft and aerospace applications. They do not typically use high-voltage grids or anodes and cathodes to accelerate the charged particles in the plasma, but instead use internally generated currents and potentials to accelerate the ions. This results in a lower exhaust velocity due to the lack of high accelerating voltages. Such engines have several advantages over other forms of electrical propulsion, providing high value for many emission profiles as they are simpler, safer, and more efficient. Some of the world agencies that have developed some sort of plasma propulsion systems include the European Space Agency, Iranian Space Agency, and NASA. Still, such technology is of no use in Earth's atmosphere. Even the spacecraft plasma engines only make a small amount of thrust due to the power intake needed for it to work. Several engineers from different nations have struggled to adapt it, as accelerated xenon ions lose most of their thrust force to friction against the air. Controversy.
The Chinese team, led by Professor Tang, believe their plasma engine prototype has overcome this massive barrier. Still, critics remain skeptical. Despite the tremendous potential of the prototype, there are also some inherent drawbacks to plasma engine technology, the main one being the high energy demand required to power them. The Variable Specific Impulse Magneto Plasma Rocket, an electrothermal thruster currently in development for possible use in spacecraft, requires 200 kilowatts of electrical power to produce only 1.12 pounds of use. While such an energy demand could be met using fission reactors or other technology while in space, the added weight of such a device aboard an aircraft might prove impossible. Another significant challenge is plasma erosion. While in operation, plasma can become so hot that it may melt everything around it, potentially leading to system failure. Plasma can thermally ablate the walls of the thruster cavity and support structure, which can eventually lead to a failure of the system. To scale up a small laboratory prototype into a full-fledged electric plasma thruster, the Wuhan researchers will need to run tests on different materials and construction to achieve the perfect combination and create the most potent and safe engine. And despite Professor Tang and his team's lofty claims, many Western analysts believe the technology is inherently flawed. According to MIT professor Steve Barrett, quote, this is wrong in terms of the physics and measurements. What they've essentially done is like heating a stovetop pressure cooker until the valve rattles and call the result thrust, but pressure cookers don't fly. Other experts have also pointed out some strange emissions from currently available data released by the Wuhan team, as the paper does not show any information regarding the highest microwave power levels at the maximum airspeed of the Chinese prototype. While the secrecy may indicate that there are some serious problems with the engine at high power levels, it may simply be because the prototype has not been tested under those conditions yet. The Future If completed, the Chinese electric plasma jet engine will be the first of its class. The next step for the Wuhan researchers is to build an extensive array of prototype thrusters with high-power microwave sources to slowly scale up the prototype design to a full-sized jet. Tang believes that within five years, his team will be able to use an enlarged version of their prototype to power small drones or heavy-duty pilotless cargo aircraft. However, plasma jet engines on crewed aircraft are still a long way to go. According to the study, of which Professor Tang was a senior author, quote, for an air plasma engine to power a large jumbo jet, it would require a large array of megawatt microwave sources, high power turbine compressors, and an extremely high electric energy storage capability. I guess that development could take another decade. Once the team can build a megawatt strength plasma engine capable of driving a large airplane, they will then focus their research on ways to reduce its weight and size to fit within a standard fuselage. Still, Tang's team remains hopeful, and the primary motivation behind their work is to help solve the global warming problems caused by the long-term use of fossil fuel combustion engines to power machines. Plasma jet engines in aviation could decrease fossil fuel use and greenhouse gas emissions, thus reducing a significant amount of the world's total carbon dioxide emissions. If this new plasma-based thruster design does prove to be efficient, Tang and his team might be on the verge of beginning a new era of non-fossil fuel-powered aviation propulsion. Thank you for watching Dark Tech. Before you go, please hit the like button and share it with someone who might like it. And to follow the latest in defense development, as well as history's most intriguing military stories, Follow this and all of our Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.